Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. Today we have another Ratchet video. But as always, before we start, if uh, you find these videos helpful or informative, could you give me a like, share, and subscribe? Okay. Today we have a Cornwell JR-30. Ratchet. On the bottom it has USA and the number 83. I don't know what the significance of 83 is. I doubt that's the year this was made. It looks a bit older. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. What's interesting here is, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. If you look at the USA, it seems like the U.S. is smaller letters, and the A is kind of big, bigger and deeper. That's kind of interesting. Okay, and here's the head. It's the profile of the head. Underneath the head, we see how the the switch is connected and how the gear is connected. Okay, what this reminds me of is it reminds me of this. and this it reminds me of the the jh williams because like the jh williams and i think they had the patent for this jh williams did you have the pole that comes out of the top here like the cornwell the pole it's in the recess in the front and it comes out of the top comes out of the front and we look at the back where the gear where the gear uh, is situated there's a threaded ring that holds in the gear and if we look here there's a threaded ring that holds in the gear and in the more drop forge ratchet craftsman more drop forge We see the same kind of design as far as the, the pole. It sits in a cutout like this one. And you remove the pole from the front, like here. This also has a ring, but it has a snap ring. And the later models of the Cornwell also had a snap ring. They did away with the, the threaded plate and they incorporated a, a snap ring similar to the craftsman. Okay. All right, let's take a look inside. As we see, this has the ring, the threaded ring plate, and you remove this, you take like a punch or a flat nail and you give it a few taps. This surprisingly wasn't too tight. When I got it, it was pretty easy. A couple of taps, tap, tap, and it was loose. But uh, due to age and rust and debris, these can be kind of a pain to get off sometimes. So I would tread lightly because you don't want to ruin the threads. Here's the plate. You see the threads here. 
It doesn't have many threads. It looks like two, two or three threads there. You know, once, if you ruin these threads, it's pretty much useless. You have to get a new plate. If you're lucky, if you ruin the threads in the head, I don't know what you would do because then I guess you're SOL at that point. But here's the plate. Okay. Here's the gear. It's kind of a somewhat coarse gear. There's 30, 30 teeth on this gear. That's what they look like. There's the ball detent. Hmm. Seems pretty regular. Not not super tight. Not super loose. Okay. Here's the inside. You can see the threads there. It's kind of weird because here they have a bunch of threads. And on the plate, there's only like three. But these threads go all the way down, it looks like. They might have like s seven or eight threads there. Okay, as you, you can see here, there's a tiny snap ring holding the pin for the switch. You get your snap ring pliers. You put them in. And you take this off. And there's your tiny snap ring. Okay, at this point you can just push the pin through and here's the pin for the switch <clears throat> you can see the groove there for the tiny snap ring uh, and here's the switch what the switch looks like there's a lip at the bottom of the switch here and that lip corresponds to the cutout in the paw so when you put in the paw make sure that the the cutout is facing out so that lip can go in there and that's how it switches that's how it's able to switch back and forth Okay, and here, when you take the pole out, you want to kind of cover the holes because there's a ball underneath and it's under, it's under pretty good tension. There's the ball. And the spring underneath the ball. Here's the paw. It's like a bat wing paw. There's two teeth here. Two teeth for the engagement. There's a cutout for the switch. the underside and the top okay 
Here's the inside of the mechanism in the body. Uh, this looks pretty sturdy. These side walls here where the where the paw when pressure is exerted, the paws like rest against these walls. And they look pretty pretty thick. These walls here look also pretty thick. Looks pretty robust, this mechanism. <clears throat> okay, to put this back together, you have your spring. You put that in the hole there, in the bottom. The only thing is, is this spring is, sticks out a lot, so it's pretty tricky to get the ball back in. I have a I have this tool I made out of a, what do you call it, one of those, uh, one of those paper clips. I took one of the sides out of these, a smaller one. I took this wire, which is pretty sturdy, and I made uh, this little tool. Okay, so you take the ball. Drop it in there. And press it down like that. Holding the ball down. Uh, this can be tricky because that spring is pretty strong. And you take your paw with the cutout facing up Whoa. <laughs> there goes the ball and the spring yep <sighs> let's try it again Like I said, take the paw with the cutout facing up and you drop it in. And you pull out the, the little tool, whatever. And that's what it looks like. Now you take your, uh, you take your switch, put it on top. Remember the switch with the lip has to go into that cutout for the paw like that and you put your, your pin in the middle and you press down on the inside on the paw that's sticking up you press down so the so the, the switch pin can go in okay now you take your little your tiny snap ring and be careful with it because if it goes flying, good luck finding it. All right. I put my finger there to keep it from flying. And there we go. Make sure it's well seated in the groove there, the snap ring. It won't come out. At this point, you can test the switch to see if it's switching. It's switching. Now you put your gear in. Okay. You see the engagement there? That's how it looks when it's ratcheting. And the other 
other side. This is pretty good engagement. All right, now you take your ring, you drop it on top. Thread it in. You take your hammer or whatever, give it a couple of light taps. Don't go crazy, because you want to watch out for those threads. Okay, that's my teardown of the Cornwell JR-30. Alright guys, till next time.